Hey, what's up guys, Aiden here. So today we're looking at John Wayne Pa, legendary Muay Thai fighter from Australia. I don't know why I've got his Las Vegas, should be Australia. So yeah, make sure you change it to Australia. Uh, I ain't gonna do it right now, it's gonna take me too long. So for his stance, I've gone for Mauricio Hua to give him that kind of Muay Thai stance. And uh, yeah, let's jump into his face slider. So if you guys know about Borkow from uh, the Muay Thai world, this guy actually had like damn competitive fights with Borkow. He's been in there with some of the absolute killers. And uh, yeah, man, he's just a legend. Definitely worth checking out his podcast with Joe Rogan as well. If you want to find out more about the Muay Thai world, about kind of his journey. And uh, if I remember correctly, he went and trained in Thailand and he like stayed in a hut or something in like absolute poverty and just but he was just happy to just fight to get competitions and yeah man the guy just lives and breathes muay thai and uh he has a, he has a gym out in the australia now as well training up the uh, up and coming talent so it's definitely worth checking out this guy if you if you're interested in you know bloody brawls in muay thai someone who's got heavy hands as well and uh yeah man i think the guy in one of his fights had like 17 stitches or something like that absolute ridiculous like he's got so much heart so we're going for template 37 for the face and then follow what you see on the screen to end up with the same results as what i have in mind so yeah interestingly enough actually i think it is the real john wayne Parr who commented on the post i put on the reddit slash eau sports ufc it was just i think i'm pretty sure it's him so that was awesome and uh yeah i messaged him i said oh can i come train can i come train with you guys in australia one day i don't know see i want to make a trip to thailand once all this nonsense is over with this, uh, whatever they call it, um, with it, I don't want to say a key word that's going to flag me up, but you know what I'm on about. Once once everything's back to normal, then um, I'm thinking I want to go to Thailand next year and train out there. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe even go to Australia the year after or something and have like, go train at the uh, John Wayne Par gym. I don't know. Anything's possible. And we'll just see. We'll see where things go. So for his tattoos, let's jump into it, guys. So the tattoos are a little bit complicated on this one, obviously, because I need to give him like the scars and stuff and the facial indents. So we're using Clairvo Font 9 and I'm just going to click through it and you guys just copy what you see on the screen and then you get the same results. Obviously, it doesn't, it's not precise science. It doesn't have to be exact. Make sure that you fade it in enough that it doesn't stand out too much. And just we're just basically layering his forehead and then we're gonna layer under his eyes and stuff as well. Just to make sure that um we're giving him the authentic look, I guess. If you wanna make him younger or something, maybe don't do this, but you know, we're going for the kind of prime version of uh, John Wayne Parr. So where is this one? I have no idea. There it is, yeah. It's like spot the difference. So it's under literally just under his eyelid here guys we've got one next to his eyelid over here and yeah to be honest i'm not even sure on his real face how many of these are creases and how many of them are just like muay thai elbows that he's eating over his career but uh yeah either way it's, yeah, it's what it makes you know the face unique and tattoos at the end of the day we're using them to give them folds and this is this is kind of what emerald crab is really good at as well by doing this, you can actually make him look more like the real person. So it just adds another layer of um, depth to our creative fighters. So I'm definitely going to have to make a ball cow now that I've made um, Chon Wayne Pa. And then maybe even do a matchup between the two, like a rematch or something. Shapes nine for both of the under the eyes. And then we've got a body tattoo skulls six. I've just chucked down here, flipped upside down. Let's flip it back the right way up actually. Obviously, if you want to actually go through and look at what tattoos he's got, you could probably come up with something a little bit more accurate. But um, I've just gone for what kind of looks good and what fits around what I saw from the pictures. And on his right arm, we've got Skulls 5. And we've just gone ahead and stretched it out a bit. And so, yeah, that's a wrap for John Wayne Parr. Let me just make sure that I've covered the body type. So I've gone for Tone 4 and uh, Body 7. It's kind of lean, actually. John Wayne Parr is actually a bit, like more stocky in real life so yeah you could go for body 17 is another option as well in fact i might let's have a look body 17 maybe body 12 one of these one of these three i'm gonna go for body 12 actually because from my memory anyway john wayne Parr is, is a quite stocky guy 
and that's where you know he gets a lot of his power from as well and then uh, yeah i've given him the uh, authentic ufc gear so this is a john wayne par guys and he's come to the lightweight division so you guys better watch out man this guys are gonna cause some damage if you enjoyed the content like comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys in